What's good, doers? You know what time it is. Your boy A got back with another reaction video. This is my first time reacting to. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Fantano, Fantano, Fantano. Where's my lighter? Um, you know, I really, I really, I really was enjoying Lone's project and everything, right? And I'm hearing a lot of things. Uh, that he, like what he said about the project and trashed it and shit like that. But then I heard, you know, he trashed everybody's shit. So, you know, um, he's definitely not a tough cookie. Trav Tigo, what's poppin'? Anyway, let's just get right into what he had to say about Destroy Lonely. Because you know how we felt. You know what I'm saying? I still listen to No Stylus all day. No cap. Uh, hi everyone. Why Thinny Not Tano here, the internet's busiest music nerd, and it's time for a review of this new Destroy Lonely album, No Stylist. Destroy Lonely is an Atlanta rapper who is fresh to Playboy Cardi's Opium label. I understand this is his third full-length studio yeah. album to date. There has been a bit of anticipation for this review, especially since the last artist I reviewed off of Cardi's Opium label, Ken Carson, uh, got a zero, and I was not really big on that record at all. But just being blunt here, honestly, uh, just like Ken Carson, I'm just not really seeing what's so exciting about this, honestly. I mean, once more, like in my Ken Carson review, I think the winner in this whole situation, the person who I can truly praise, uh, is Playboy Cardi, because that man smartly forged a style, forged a sound, uh, saw that among his fans there was a huge demand for it, maybe more of a demand than he himself could could feed alone, and ultimately it's to everyone's benefit. I'm sure financially this label deal is good for Cardi. The artists he puts on his label get pushed directly to his fans who are only seeking out more music that sounds like his. Yeah, I mean, ultimately it makes sense. It's great. It's uh, it's good. E everybody uh, wins. Every everybody win, win, win. But like, um, if if only the music uh, were, were good, because I'm running into a lot of the same problems that I had with uh, Ken Carson on this destruction lonely record, ultimately. Vocally, I could not pick this man out of a lineup. Uh, slathers his voice in a lot of auto-tune too, which again, ultimately is not necessarily a bad thing, but it's pretty much used as a crutch and as a means of making his very boring uh, vocal timbre sound more interesting when in fact it really doesn't. Now, look, I think a generic or a so-so voice could be uh, maybe a non-factor if you deliver with a lot of energy or a lot of passion or you have of uh, flows that are unique, sticky, catchy. But Destroy Lonely doesn't even bring that to the table. I find it funny that stuff like this continues to be labeled as like rage music or uh, gets put in this box uh, uh, where it's kind of compared to Playboy Cardi stuff because obviously it's on the opium label. The Playboy Cardi fans are consuming it, but I don't see what is so <laughs> hype or exciting or, um, I don't know, visceral or aggressive about this. I mean, maybe in some respects it goes hard live, but on the record itself, the energy is very very middle of the road and so-so. There's not a whole lot of sparks or fireworks to be had. Frankly, Cardi approaches the mic with a lot more energy, with a lot more charisma. Uh, guys like Sheck Wes as well, or Travis Scott. You did not just say Sheck Wes. I'm sorry. No, I ain't even gonna say it. Um, here's my opinion so far watching this um, reaction little thing he's talking about. You know, you're right, Twiz. You know, you, you could, you could, you could, You could throw a lot of smoke in the air with big words and shit like that, right? But at the end of the day, it's 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 literally impossible to rate an album after one listen. It is literally impossible. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know when I make reaction videos, if you go watch my reaction packs and shit like that to artists and shit like that, you know, you're going to hear me say, you know, you're going to have that one old head who, who's going to listen to this bar and be like, you know what? This is why I fucking hate rap now. Yada, yada, this, that, and the third. I'm not saying he, that he's that guy, but I'm saying that's why shit like that happens. No, you cannot listen to an album once and judge it. You cannot process, like Jay-Z even said it, bro. You can't process all the instruments. You can't process, you can't process everything that's going on with one listen, especially when, you already have this 
preconceived notion that the last artist that's right next to him all the time recording, you know, has a similar sound as Playboy Cardi. You know what I mean? Especially when you have that preconceived notion, right? Like, oh, this is another one of them. Oh yeah, no. I mean, you said it was better than Kane. Like, I mean, to give Kane Carson a zero is absolutely out of this world. But like, to give Lonely a uh, take the intro track off this record, for example, which sounds almost as passionless and as monotone as a Nav song. Much of the appeal of this music comes down to the vibe, but. The vibes are rancid. Like, I could compliment this record if it managed to work even as background music, but uh, it's way too annoying to serve even as that. The second track has one of the worst flows and melodies I've ever heard on any Mellow Trap song. I'm not gonna lie. Now, the bad songs on No Stylus are horrible. Yeah. Like, there are some horrible songs on there. Like, there's a certain part of Lone, like, the, like, all-out, like, you know, like, just like, you know what I'm talking about. I'm not really into that shit. And that's just not because Lonely's a bad artist. It's just, I'm not into that kind of shit. Like, y'all gotta just understand that what he's saying is his opinion. And it's not, and it doesn't matter. And you guys are going to go watch. You guys are watching him say his opinion. You know what I'm saying? Like, And that's just what reactions are. It, but it, this, look, what he has to say about loan does not determine who loan is, what loan is. Like, it does not make loan good or bad. Like, if I said it, if he said it, if academic said it, if Playboy Cardi posts it or doesn't post it, like, none of that shit. Like, none of that shit is going to determine if Lonely is good or not. The nigga didn't even tell nobody he was going to drop and went top 10. Everybody can shut the fuck up. It don't matter what flow was good. No, Bergdorf is horrible, dude. It's horrible. To me, though. You know what I'm saying? But, like, it don't matter. It's the worst song ever, and it went top 10. No announcement. No Stylus is the hardest song I've heard. One of the hardest songs I've heard all year. Just That's to me. Just remember that. You know what I'm saying? Everybody has their opinion. You know what I'm saying? That's why, that's why I say what he's saying does not determine what it is because look at what I'm saying. I think I'm pretty credible. Song. Really the best you could hope for on this project is a beat that is listenable and the story lonely essentially rides it with the same flow over and over and over, repeating until essentially it just becomes this mind-numbing thing that you're not really thinking about because there's no song there, there's no interesting bars there, there's nothing really there in terms of variation in performance. And believe me, you don't really want to be paying close attention. Uh, the fifth track, for example, he says, uh, she in school but it's cool, she's still in School. You you not hating on no stylus, bro. Nah, he can't be hating on no stylus. First of all, how old is Destroy Lonely? Be in school, but it's cool. Yeah, I still might bag this bitch. What do you have when you're in school? A bag. Right? You can, you can call it anything, bro. That's a bar to me. It's like a double entendre or whatever. I don't even know if that's the right word. But like, you know what I'm saying? You know when something means like two different things? Like, she in school, but it's cool. Yeah, I still might bag this bitch. You know what I'm saying? Bag. Book bag. Or, or, yo, hey, to not be a hater, you could run with that. Or you could just tell himself, yo, if he's 20 years old, he could fuck with an 18-year-old. Realistically, he could. I mean, niggas not gonna act like, you know what I'm saying? He could. You know what I'm saying? She could be 18 in high school. I don't know, a little dumb bitch. Or she probably started school late or something. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's a little, he's, he's young, bro. He's not even 21. He's not talking about no freshman in high school. But you just rather tell yourself that to say the best song that's out right now is whack. Come on, man. I mean, at the, at the end of the day, it's his opinion. What grade? Yeah, but when Destroy Lonely isn't kind of creeping uh, me out like that, much of what's going on here substance-wise is totally mindless. Um, and not to even kind of say that it's like... How about the part where he said... Stay in your lane, because mama might drive you crazy. Those are facts. These are facts. You know what I'm saying? 
but you're gonna mention man that's the, you see this keep your eyes open fellas like mindless in a special way like what he's rapping about here the materialism the sex the drugs the money you could get that just about anywhere but with like actual personality uh actual flow uh maybe a song idea maybe a song structure uh maybe a melody that's worth humming or remembering uh maybe bitch i wake up no stylus first of all do you do you do you, do you, do you, did he hear the intro of that song did he hear does, did he hear the beginning of that song i don't think you he heard the beginning of the song i think he skimmed through it went to the verse went to the hook no i don't like it i don't like it into it and, and left i'm telling you watch what's gonna happen when that intro was played at Destroy Lonely's debut show, wherever, where it's him, where it's his time to shine. You know what I'm saying? Not him following Ken. You know what I'm saying? Watch what's going to happen when that song plays. Watch. Maybe some wit in the writing. It's not even so much that uh, the topics of focus on this project are bad or wrong. They're not. They're kind of what you would expect someone who's Destroy Lonely's age to be rapping about. But like, at the very least, he could uh, do it with some flavor, some uh, personality, some something. Because once again, just like with Ken Carson, uh, the only thing that makes this project stand out or makes it special or makes it worth focusing on in any way is that it fits in to you know this uh, cardi trend this rage wave and it's specifically being featured on the opium label uh th there's really nothing else exciting or interesting or even worth commenting on about it because truth be told the story lonely is is no lyricist um does not really know his way around wow but you know what it is this is what i thought when i first started listening to Lone. And no style has definitely woke me up. So I guess. And 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 the forever um you know what I mean? The forever part two shit too really told me, all right, lone 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 fire, bro. No cap. You just gotta find the song personally. And maybe he heard a song like Bergdorf and it was really like, you know what, man? I can't <laughs> <laughs> rapping or flowing as much of the time he's barely holding on to the tempo of these beats. Occasionally there is a kind of wild eccentricity to what he does. Maybe some of his vocal lines are especially sloppy or a little weird. Uh, sometimes in that respect it reminds me just a little bit of Lil B. But believe me when I say, like, this record isn't even... Yo, he just compared Destroy Lonely to Lil B. Uh, and, um, an eighth, uh, a tenth, an eleventh as entertaining as a Lil B mixtape or album. There are some tracks on the back end of this thing where uh, Destroy Lonely starts incorporating some guitar samples, but the problem much of the time is that uh, whatever these guitar chunks or loops are that are being thrown into these beats, they sound like they were recorded on a fucking potato. And yeah, the record ends uh, about as boring and as passionless and as pointless as it begins. I suppose if you're really like desperate for more music in this style, uh, Destroy Lonely uh, kind of fits the bill. But again, in my opinion, just like with Ken Carson, uh, there's not really much of anything on this project that holds a candle to uh, any song on any Cardi project, even when eventually you do get a beat or two that sounds like it could have been on Whole Lotta Red. And when it comes to artists who kind of have the appeal or are trying to have the appeal that Destroy Lonely does, uh, yeah, I would much rather listen to Cardi. I would much rather listen to someone like Yeet, who despite his, like, you know, severe lack of substance on the lyrical side, at least has some... His eyes aren't open. His eyes are closed. Something going on there in terms of his voice. This is like how Funk Flex felt about, you know, the Yachty wave and the Kodaks and the little pumps and shit like that. And I'm going to tell you right now, a lot of those motherfuckers, and, and this 21 Savages and shit like that, a lot of those motherfuckers are killing shit. Okay. 
voice, in terms of his style, in terms of his delivery, in terms of his uh, unique and somewhat more psychedelic and surreal approach to this sound. Ugh, I'm, I'm struggling, guys. I'm, I'm really struggling to find something nice to say about this project. Um, I, I want to have something nice to say, but really nothing about it appealed to me outside of like maybe a vocal line here and there, maybe a, a beat here and there being um, semi-interesting or, you know, feeling interesting enough that I would want to hear maybe another rapper on it. Plus, the whole damn thing is over 50 minutes long, which is just way too fucking much uh, mind-numbing drivel in one sitting. Feeling a uh, light to decent one on this project. Transition, have you given this album a listen? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What would you rate it? You're the best you the best. What should I review next? Hit the like if you like. Please subscribe and please don't cry. Hit the bell as well. Over here next to my head, it's another video you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, Destroy Lonely, uh, forever. I fuck with him. I fuck with what he do. You know what I'm saying? Like, I fuck with that. But it's like, man, that's pure ignorance. No, honesty. You can't listen to an album one time and judge it. You gotta you you gotta force it in. You gotta force it in and find the one that sticks, and then find how many of them stick, and then judge it. But hey, you know everybody has their own way. Everybody has their own opinion. You know what I'm saying? Maybe he has the ability to process music faster than other people. Simple. You know what I'm saying? But damn, hate on no stylists. Absolutely bonkers. Anyway. That's that Fantano, the strong only review reaction. Before you get out of here, you already know what to do. Run this shit up. A God, I'm out.